everybody, welcome to another bow challenge. These are not brownies. Bo is going to have to compete today. Good afternoon, everybody. For Johnny Pacifico, Jack Hagen doing the directing. My partner, Mickey Viam, Tim Kramer, and welcome to another Mo challenge. And we have Carrie Ellis starting off. Let me bring in, without any further ado, Mickey V. Good evening, Mickey. Good evening, Tim. Good evening, Tim. Tim, uh, Bo is going to have to gear up this week. Last week he had the week off. These women are ready this week to knock Bo off. We have a plethora of women here ready to take on the Bowmeister. And Carrie Ellis start us off. She ends up with a seven. Carrie will be receiving 100 pins. Now on lane 10, Anita St. Clair. She's getting 125 pins. Mickey, that's the Suburban Cable Channel. Oh, yeah, we haven't had that in a while, Timmy. In fact, well, because we couldn't last week, I guess, with the bumpers, but. No, we do not have it when bumpers are up. Lane nine is Jose Rodriguez. We have a lot of handicap being handed out tonight. Carrie getting 100 pins, Anita getting 125, Jose getting 105, and the other two we will tell you as they come up. Well, that's good, Tim. You see Jose back. He wants revenge. Bo beat him a couple weeks ago, but Jose's ready, he said. He, he, really, wants, he really wants to beat Bo. That's his, his uh, ambition here. And Jose leaves just a five pin. And now on lane 10, Tanya Barnes. And we've had the pleasure of watching Tanya several weeks. And fine bowler, 26 years old, Tanya. Averaged 133, her high game of 188. And she told me TV before we went on the air, Timmy, she's working up. She was only 114 a few weeks back there. And she's working up quick. Worked employed by the Southland Concrete Company. Would love to say hello to her kids, April and Stephanie. And, of course, her dad and mother, Mother Josie, her father, Ted. And we have Ernie Ellis on lane nine. Not a good start, Mickey. 45 pins handicap, but the 4-6 right through the beak. But you've seen the way a couple Look weeks ago, Ernie, ooh, oh, Tanya drops it off into the suburban cable channel. <laughs> Only on the first bowl can we really give him a full credit, though, for the suburban cable okay. channel. We can't really, I know we want to extend a lot of credit for that, but <laughs> only on the first ball can they actually get attaboy. We don't wheel out the attaboy too much. Bowling on lane number 10, Bo. Bo looked like he having some equipment problems or maybe just forgot which lane he was on, but he's here's, ready. Here's the first bow by ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's not going to go. That's a stiff 10. I was, was Wiggle. Just, I was going to say, Timmy, he makes it look so easy. And what does he do? He, boom, he pounds that pocket. And as he said, another 300 gone to the win. That's another one Bo blew this week. Yep, Bo leaving a solid 10. And we want to remind everybody, stay tuned at the end. Bo will interview. Uh oh, oh, Mickey! Oh. Mickey! Oh, Folks, there it is. You've seen it on television. Good thing this is taped to me because nobody would believe Bo missed the 10 pin. We can play it over and a over. I need it now. A lot of pins there. The one, two, eight left, seven pins. This is Carrie Ellis. Mickey, why don't you tell us about Carrie? Okay, Carrie's 25 years old, has a 129 average. High game, she's breaking the 200, Barry 207. High series 541, employed by the Taj Mahal. We don't want to say who owns that place, but her hobbies are volleyball. Did you play in that same league with her, Timmy, that volleyball league? Yes, Softball, I did. Softball, football, yes, bowling. We'd love to say hello to mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, Rob, Monica, and uh, Monica's mom. Serves you right. No, we played volleyball at the track league. Oh, that's the track league. I'm and sorry. we won it. Gary Ellis makes the spare. And now Tanya Barnes. I want to tell you something, too. Uh, we very seldom do this on the boat challenge. Uh, I want to give it out of boy to one of the crew members. You know, people think it's easy to go out and play volleyball late at night. No, I've tried it. I Jack played it Hagen. What a spiker. Unbelievable. Every time the ball came up, he spiked it home. Unbelievable. Hats off to my man, Jack Hagen. Especially because a guy like Jack, you can't even slide a playing card underneath his feet when he tries to jump, but <laughs> somehow he gets over the net with that arm. I just It's hard to imagine, really, but he does it. And a lot of times, you know, Jack had to spike the ball. The light wasn't even that good. <laughs> and Tanya with a spare. Back to bowling here. Jose Rodriguez trying for spare. Ooh, slides left. Jose starting off slow, folks, but long way to go here. Long way to go. You know what, Mickey? 
We never give a dossier on Bo, but I have one right here. Bo is over 21. His average is 209. For TV purposes, 225. He strikes. His high game is 300. High series is above 700. He's employed by the Brigham Young Golf Club, Suburban Cable. He's employed by Spoons on Karaoke. His hobbies are teaching young kids how to bowl worse, teaching older people how to bowl worse, helping himself win more. He'd like to say hello to Franklin Roosevelt. He'd like to say hello to um, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, all people that Bo hung out with a long time ago. Rip Taylor. And other comments are, Bo says, just love being around the Bo Challenge. Yeah, if you come to this, it's just a lot of fun, really. You see it having fun. Bo's having fun. Although we got to keep starting a new season after each week. But, you know, he's getting better. He's starting to get the hang of this thing. Gary Ellis with a strike. And uh, Anita leaves the 1, 3, 8, 10. Jose, the 1, 2, 8, 9. And Mickey, um, we want to remind everybody about Buddy Boy. Uh, again, folks, we're on it's just a tremendous organization. Got the opportunity, uh, Mick McDaniel, we've given you the numbers. Of course, Rich DeFeo, it's just a tremendous organization. To get oh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but Anita. Anita makes a spare. I was gonna say that before anyway, Anita and Jose are having problems hitting that head pin, because you gotta hit the head pin, folks. You, that, you leave the easier spares when you hit that head pin. You don't hit the head pin, the things you can get, leave, it's just phenomenal, really. Mike McDaniels, you can phone him at 965-1564. Get involved in Buddy Ball. And Tanya leaving the one, three, six, ten. The rake on the right, stepping up now. This is Ernie Ellis. He's getting 45 pins. We're going to check some scores right after this ball. Right on the head pin. Ernie, let's check some scores right now. Ernie getting 45. He'll have 74 in a second if he spares. We move on to Jose. Jose getting 105, has 129 in the third. We move on to Carey as an, and oh, Tanya makes it. Carey getting 100 pins, has 127 in a second with a strike. Anita has 139 in a second, and she has a golden spare up there. And Tanya has 115 with a spare bow, has nine in the first with a strike, looking for a double. And Mickey Bow looking for a double here. He bounced that one a little bit. Breaks up the split, though. That's the key. He, you can see he didn't have the good release that time. He kind of bounced it out of his hand that time. I don't know if it stuck or... Does Bo look nervous tonight? Have we have we surrounded him with too many uh, Miss Americas? I would say so, because I would be nervous over there, Timmy. I wouldn't be able to concentrate on the lane, that's for sure. All right. Bo shooting the 4-7. Got it. And going by the way, Bo dropped that first one in the bucket there, the 10 pin. He, he's not concentrating as he said he would be. Nice release, Anita. Let's see. Mickey! Yeah! yeah. Anita! He, I told her. Uh, she told me before the started. She hadn't bowled in a number of years. And he said, just like riding a bike, and she shows. Carrie Ellis is going to slide by, leaves the rake to the left, the one, two, four, seven. Tanya Barnes now. Breaks it up, leaves just the three pin. Tanya, nice smooth style there, Timmy. Maybe just a little more to the right, get that better angle, you know, going through that pocket. She might find a little more pin action that way. Uh, this is Carrie Ellis. Look out, look out. And it didn't look good. Slid by the right. Seems one, like it backed up a little bit. 149 in the fourth. And now Jose Rodriguez and Mickey analyze Jose for us. Okay, Jose himself again. He, he's having problems hitting that head pin. Him himself, he's got to move to the right. Try to get better angle going through the pocket because Timmy, that one was kind of backing up a little bit too. He needs to move himself a little bit, move them feet to the right on the lane. Come in from that angle and start driving out that five pin, really. And if Jose does that, I think his uh, average will improve. Mickey V, of course, a fine bowler in his own right, folks. And when Mickey V gives a tip, I always listen. You should, too. He's got a chance, Mickey. Oh, all right, Jose. Give That's it to him. I would have went for that one, but he made it. <laughs> Jose, can you spare? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. And now. And we got Bo up there. He's trying to get himself something working here. The man who dipped the pen and ink for the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Bo, oh, ten pin. and he taps the ten Turn pin. around, Bo. a little too confident on that one, Timmy. Turn around, Bo. Have a nice day. 
This is Ernie Ellis here. We need Ernie to get a strike right here. He's going to put the pressure on Bo. Uh, 310. His ball's coming high every time. What Ernie needs to do, Mickey, I think here, is he has to move to the left on the approach and try to get the ball out a little further to the right. It's coming up way too early. He needs that ball to break later. These lanes are really hooking on the end. That's it. If your ball's hooking too much, folks, if you're especially if you're righty, move left. Move, but first, make sure you're hitting your mark, of course. Sometimes people move before they realize they're not even hitting the mark yet, so you really don't know. See, that's the key. You got to keep the, it's almost like a machine. The same release every time. Then you know what your ball is doing. Then it's easy to adjust. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, let Mickey V slide over with the uh, shotgun mic. And Mickey, what I want you to do is I want you to ask Tanya, does both seem more lifelike here? or at karaoke and try to get everybody else's flavor here and just let me know when you're ready. We'll set you up there and you can uh, talk to these people. I want to know from Tanya because she goes to karaoke all the time. Okay. She's a boet, I believe. A boet? Yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know if she wanted that known in public. <laughs> um, but, you know, ask her, is, is Bo more, you know, lifelike here? Or karaoke, or does he have any life here? Okay, I would like, can I ask her what her phone number is though, Timmy? Do That's I entirely up to you, you're the man. I'll do it. <laughs> Mickey V, the man, moving over now to the shotgun mic. Jose leaves the 510. And if you want to, drop us a letter here to the Bow Challenge, P.O. Box 776, Cologne, New Jersey. That's 08213, P.O. Box 776, Cologne, New Jersey, 08213. And tell us if you like what we're doing here, moving Mickey around like this. And uh, Mickey, we're going to turn it over to you. Okay, we're going to turn to Tiny in a moment, but I'm sitting right next to Bo. And Bo, how are you concentrating out here? We got like, what's this, it's, Miss it's, America here? Or? It's very uh, difficult. This uh, Nita St. Clair, I mean, she, she keeps saying, Bo, watch this, watch this. You watch, and you watch. That's watch, exactly bro. what happens. I watch this, I watch that. <laughs> And you know, I just, I just, uh, I just can't concentrate. You know, we noticed that, Bo. You dropped a ten pin in the first yeah, frame, well, and if yeah. it wasn't on tape, nobody would believe. I'd it. like to say it was deliberate, but it really wasn't. I just, I was not concentrating. I got to get focused. I'm focused right now. So anybody that thinks I'm a nice guy, forget it. I am not a nice guy, and I'm going to show you why. You heard it from Bo, folks. Watch why he's focused. The key word is focused. The operative word, focused. And we're going to talk to Tanya in a second. There she is, Tanya. Tanya, we got on the bow challenge with Tanya Barnes. And Tanya, you know, you've got the pleasure, I've told you're a bowette. I mean, Timmy said you might not want to make that public, but you're a bowette. Is he more real life here or at karaoke? Karaoke. He's more life at karaoke. You heard it, Timmy. What are you going to do to beat Bo? Um, <laughs> do you really want to know? Get a big bat, hit him over the head. <laughs> there we go. So, folks, you want to beat Bo, you get the big bat, hit him over the head, and it's an easy job done. But, Tanya, we noticed your, your average is starting to skyrocket here. What are you doing to improve your game? Um, actually, I changed my position on my arm. That's it. And I'll tell you what, another little tip. Move a little more right, more angle to the pocket. I can't go up even higher. It. I can't figure it out yet. <laughs> You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. So, Timmy, back to you, Timmy. Anita St. Clair up. This is the sixth frame. And uh, Mickey's also going to talk to Anita here when we can get her off the lane. Oh, no, Mickey, you got a chance to talk to her after a strike. Bring her over. Talk to her. We go back to Mickey V. Mickey, take it away. Anita, we're in with Anita St. Clair. Anita, we talked to you before the show. You said you hadn't bowled in a number of years, but like I said, it's just like riding a bike. You're picking it right now. Trying to. We'll get back. What are you doing out there? Tell our viewers out there. What are you doing? Again, you haven't bowled, but you're getting a feel. You said you enjoyed bowling. What are you doing? Just center myself, uh, follow through, keep my head straight up, and follow through on that. How about to our other listeners and viewers out there who maybe want to think in a bowling bow, but they're a little apprehensive? Little words of encouragement. Tell them why they should come out and have some fun with the bowl challenge. That's the whole thing, just have fun. You heard it, Timmy. Just having fun. Anita, she's got the strike. She's got the pocket. It's down. Look out for Anita St. Clair. Thank you. Thank you. And Mickey V, using his influence here, has invited Anita back next week with a pass from Mickey V. And Jack Hagen and I just threw our hands up. We can't argue. Mickey V, now a color man. He's taking control. Anita will be back next week. And Mickey will join me back in the booth now as we will continue on. Let's check some scores. Through six, we go to Carrie Ellis, 165 in the six. She's rolling right along. Jose Rodriguez, give him 164 in the sixth. 
Ernie Ellis, 101 and a fourth with a spare in the fifth. Anita St. Clair, 183 and a fifth with a strike, and she's beating Bo. Tanya Barnes, 161 and a fifth. Bo has only 87 in the fifth. And Mickey V back in the booth now. Bo has a lot of work to do. And he said he was going to be refocused there, but after again watching Anita, and you should mention, you know, uh, Bo, Timmy Anita, part of JJ Gracie Enterprises, the new marketing director and stuff. So a great organization in the area. Folks, you might be knocking on your door, and if I was you, I'd open it first, but you know. Anita St. Clair, we'll, we'll go over everybody's dossier that we haven't went over. We will also... Uh, Keep you informed on the scores. Once again, though, let's talk buddy ball. Let me give it to Mickey V. Again, we told you it can't be labor at this point. Just a tremendous organization held out at the race course thanks to John Wayne. Of course, the starters of the impetus, Rich DeFeo, Mike McDaniel. You want to become part of this? Just a tremendous organization. Phone Rich DeFeo at 965-5204, as well as Mike or call him Mick. Mick McDaniel, 965-1564. Get your kids involved in buddy ball. You just want to be a buddy. You don't have to participate, meaning be a player. You got some kids with disabilities that want to play. Phone Rich, 965 5204 phone Mike at 965 1564 and become part of Buddy Ball, just a tremendous organization held again at the Atlantic City Race Course out there at the track. Which, well, we won't get into the track. Is that the track? Uh -huh. <laughs> Ernie Ellis did not get his ball back. Bo stepped right up and threw the spare for Ernie Ellis. Bo Saeed doing it right. We, we have a little jam up here. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back after this. Welcome to the all-new Andre's Pizza Pals restaurant, 1312 Brigantine Avenue, Brigantine. You'll find a large new dining area with the same delicious homemade Italian cuisine that Andre's has been known for since 1983. Mussels marinara, fresh spinach appetizers, and stuffed eggplant are just some of the fine specialties that are served in a warm and friendly atmosphere. Andre's also serves many types of pizza, including award-winning rosemary pizza. Also delicious steak sandwiches and subs. Takeouts and delivery are also available. Call ahead at 266-1124. Andre's Pizza Palace Restaurant, 1312 West Brigantine Avenue, Brigantine. Joe's Seaside Market at 1200 West Brigantine Avenue in Brigantine is a full-service market. There's a wide variety of groceries, a large selection of the freshest produce, and the finest of meat, seafood, and poultry. Joe's Seaside Market specializes in filet mignon and other fine cuts of meat, with a professional meat cutter on duty at all hours to serve you. Joe's Seaside Market also features a large selection of deli and prepared foods to go, including salads, soups, and entrees. It's a great place to pick up hot lunch or dinner. Joe's Seaside Market is located at 1200 West Brigantine Avenue in Brigantine. Call 266-7611. And welcome back. Anita St. Clair up seventh frame action here. And she's going to get three on the left. Mickey Jose had to go. He left the 179 here, and he's going to slide by it on the right. That's oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, he almost knocked out the back, too. I thought I've he was going to slide that. by. He barely nips the nine. He's made a nine seven. Oh, man. I need a St. Clair now. That was one of those Jose, though, Tim. You need two balls to make that shot, maybe three. There's no way to get the ball to hook that much. Anita St. Clair, second ball. She had a three, though, Timmy, and uh, something happened. All right, well, Is let's the, see. The moon going to be full tonight, or what's going on here? Mickey, keep talking, and I'll change the score here. Okay, we got Ernie up right now. Ernie Ellis bounds the pocket. Ernie with the 180 average high game of a 279, employed by the Taj Mahal, as well as the Brigantine Golf Links, where he probably run into Bo once or twice out there in the greens. Hobby, softball, golf, of course, bowling. And we got Tanya Barnes now up. Nice shot. Oh, right down the center of the lane. And again, folks, you need angle going into that pocket. You want to drive out that five pin, you need the angle. If you're a lefty, move to the left if you have to. Unless, of course, your ball's cooking too much right, then move right on the lane and you just adjust accordingly. Only try moving the board or two, however. Don't overcompensate. Of course, make sure you're hitting your mark. And Tanya, she's looking really good on those spares now, folks. Straight at him. That's the key of the spare. Point the feet at it. Throw right at it. Nothing fancy. You don't have to hook it into it. You don't have to back it into it. Just throw right at it. Anita St. Clair now on lane nine. Anita throwing it straight down the middle. Anita looking for the mix. She leads the 5-7. She had luck a little last couple times on that. But Bo now... 
Trying to get himself back into the match. Has one working, looking for the two-bagger. And we've given Anita her proper score now. Bo's in trouble, Mickey. Oh, oh. one, two, four. He said he was going to refocus, Timmy, and obviously he has not done that. Mickey V will now embark on getting Bo cab numbers. It's almost time to call Bo a cab. He needs a ride home. He's done. So, folks, if you have a cab, come on down. Look at oh, this. Oh, oh she almost made that. It. Wow. Well, we want to check some scores here. And uh, Anita has 217 in the eighth, and she's locked out Bo. So, Anita St. Clair is a winner. Tanya Barnes. If she makes a spare, she locks him out. If not, she'll lock him out anyway. Oh, and she had the sleeper, but it's a nine now. Though. The back pin fell. Carrie mixes it up. Carrie Ellis. Off the wall. That's what they call What's it, a Harvey wall bang? Is that what that's they call that? A, that's a strike. That's the only way I know how to call that one. And here, a nice shot for Tanya. Tanya's a winner. She's looking really good on him, single pin spares. Jose Rodriguez is trying to help Bo desperately. Look, it's still falling. For the back door. One, two, five. Good seven here. Jose with 172 in the seventh. Bo with 107 in the sixth. Spare in the seventh. Mickey, Bo has to strike out for 217. Hey, Timmy, playing, Bo stinks tonight. What's going on here? He's just, he's not focused. He's not, he said he, he's just too much distraction for Bo, but he'll be back, folks. You know Bo, he's the man. That's why it's called the Bo Challenge. And uh -oh. Jose slides by. Jose is doing everything he can to help Bo. Bo side, eighth frame. Looking to set it up for the ninth. He's got a chance, Mickey. Oh, that's another, that's his third 10 pin. Three tens and an eight. Here he goes, the Bo Macarena. The Bo Macarena. <laughs> Bo Macarena. Oh my God. And the popularity, we had the pleasure of interviewing Tony Carlos Oliva a couple weeks back at, uh, what's it, that resorts over there. Who, who made it popular in Brazil, the, the Bar Arena. Oh, solid seven for Ernie. Thought he was going to mix that out of there. Ernie with 140 in the sixth. Oh, no. oh, was in trouble. We got it. He was, he was, he was nervous. You heard. Playing a decoy. He said, oh, no, when he knew he had it. And Mickey, uh, while we have a second here as Ernie's up, Ernie. Once again, Ernie's ball has got stuck here. It's, it must, maybe it's a little bigger than the other balls. What's going on? Here? I don't know. Bo's going to shoot another shot here as we are ch trying to get through this. I don't know, Tim. The way Bo's bowling tonight, I'd be afraid to have him shoot my spare. He got it. Oh, no. Bo once again makes Ernie spare. That's all you want to beat Bo. I guess let him beat himself. Let him shoot for you. Carrie Ellis looking for a double here. Leaves a 5-9, didn't get it, gets a spare. Carrie with 205 in the eighth and a spare up. Mickey, carries the winner. Uh oh, Bo, we're gonna have to start another season here, Timmy. Is looking, Bo's best, record looking bad. Best Bo can finish with is 206 now. And uh, let's see, I think Jose's the only one with a real, well, Ernie has 160 with a spare. Oh, Jose, Jose five, five, seven. seven. Jose right now, 179 in the eighth. Ernie, 160 in the seventh with a spare. He'll have 180 with a strike. Both of these gentlemen need to make a mark or two to close Bo out. But Bo must strike out to have 206. Anita St. Clair. Mickey, she's got a chance. Oh, I thought she had it, Timmy. Look nice. She's got a nice style, nice form out there. I really. thought the ball would deflect. I really did, and it didn't do it. Jose Rodriguez, 188 in the ninth. And uh, Bo can still strike out. Jose would need a spare nine. Tanya Barnes already a winner. Leaving just a four pin. And that's what she needs it to do. See how she came more to the right that time? She got the nice angle into the pocket. Maybe just a hair high, a board high. But that's what she needs to do. And this is Ernie Ellis. Oh, give oh, him a break. I thought it was going to go. Give him a break. Come on. Seven pin again. 
Tanya's in trouble. Oh, that's when I said she was doing nicely on them one pin spares. Well, Tanya has 228 in the ninth, though. She's a winner. She should have moved a little more right, and again, just throw right at them one pin spares, folks. Ernie Ellis, look out, Mickey, oh, Mickey. We try to hook it into it. That's a major no-no. 188 for Ernie, 188 for Jose. This is a must strike, though, for both. Bo doesn't get this. He cannot, he will not win. That bad ball, he came over it. I don't believe it. No, oh, I thought he was going to carry it. I thought he, he was too. He flipped over the ball, and the ball skidded into the pocket, Mickey. Bo wasn't happy with that one. And normally when you challenge Bo, he does it. He says, well, I, I can't do it. Watch this. And just a hair high that time, leave himself a four pin. The best Boca finish was 195. And now Anita St. Clair, 10th frame time. What is the fun happen? When was the last time Bo shot in the 180s? Years ago, folks. And Tanya himself getting about six pins up there, actually five. So Tanya herself started off, looked like she had a hang of it to me. Now maybe he's getting a little fatigue. Oh, and Carrie blows him out that time. Gets the first one in the 10. And Anita Sinclair looking to make the spare. What do you call that? The bucket and some fries or something up there? All right. Yeah, what we're going to do here, folks, we do want Bo to have time to talk to everybody, Mickey. So let's have a final word from you, and we're going to get out and let Bo do an interview because Bo's got swept by everybody. It's already over. Bo has lost everybody. Go ahead. Final word. Word. Okay. And we'll be back next week. We've got interviews with Bo as Mickey V gave you a final word. For Johnny Pacifico, for Jack Hagan, for Mickey V, I'm Tim Kramer. Stay tuned for Bo Saib and the interviews right after this. Bo knows. Good food. Quarter mile west of Hamilton Mall. Bo knows. Great fun. Black Horse Pike and Cologne. Bo knows. Fine dining. In the heart of Hamilton Township. Bo knows. Good prices. Bo now knows. Dishes. Hi, I'm Vicki. He's not. I'd just like to take a moment to tell you about my favorite service station, Gunther's Mobile, located at 407 South New Road in Pleasantville. Gunther's is the most reliable full service station in the area, featuring 24-hour emergency tow service. The top-rated mechanics who use the most modern diagnostic equipment to fit your car, including brakes, auto body repair, tires, everything. Gunther's is also a New Jersey full service station. So for the most reliable, dependable service, go to Jimmy Gunther's. I should know. He's my dad. Not him. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had a great time tonight. I was saying, is there anybody you want to say hello to? Uh, only me happy here. It's funny. Okay, yeah. do you want to say hello in Spanish to anyone you know? Uh, es divertido estar aquí y me gusta estar aquí. Yeah, easy for you to yeah. say. <laughs> okay. Ernie. Ernie, uh, Ernie works at Brigantine Golf Links, probably the greatest course in the area, right? Got to be the greatest course in the area. Great shape. It's got to be or it is? Yeah, well, it is. Oh, okay. I better say it is, huh? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Ernie, thank you very much thank for you, being Bob. on here. And Mrs. Ernie. <laughs> this is Mrs. Ernie. Uh, how did you enjoy the bow challenge? It was interesting. Yes, but <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If, if I was in your shoes and I beat the heck out of the star, I would probably feel the same way. Is there anybody want to say hello to out there? Just my family. Oh, do they have names? Uh, my mom, my dad, my grandma, my grandpa, my brother Rob, and his wife Monica. Okay, mom, dad, do they have names? Uh, Elena and Dwayne. Oh, okay. <laughs> and thank you very much for being on the Bow Challenge. Humana, 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 humana. <laughs> and. I know. Uh, hi. <laughs> Did you just come on the show? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Uh, your name is. Sinclair. Anita Sinclair. I know that. Yeah. Anita Sinclair. Where do you work, Anita? I work for JJ Gracie Enterprises. All right, and look out there. Is there anybody you want to say hello to? Ah, uh, yes. My four children, Chris, BJ, Anita Joy, and Helene. How about the guy that gave you the phone number to your cell phone? <laughs> and JJ Gracie. Yes. Yeah. All right, there's only one minute left, but <laughs> she had to call JJ Gracie to find out her number. <laughs> I had to do that. I'm sorry. It's okay. And this is Tanya. <laughs>
Tanya, is there anybody you want to say hello to? My children. Yeah. Names? April and Stephanie. How about your mother and father? Oh, well, okay, Jojo and Teddy Bear. All right, how about Bo and... Oh, well, of course, Bo and the Bozettes <laughs> and Bo everyone in karaoke. Boettes. Boettes. No, I say Bozettes because we're all Bozos like uh, you. <laughs> okay. Anita, I'm sorry, but I, I had to do that. I, I just had to do that. I'm sorry. I, I just had to do that. Now, let's... <laughs> I had a great time tonight, <laughs> even though I, I, I bought a 250. Do you believe it? I lost. I, I don't know what happened, but thank you very much for watching the Boat Challenge. We'll see you next week. <laughs>